This video is about telling time, so you know how to look at and read a clock, and also to ask or tell what time it is. All right, there are two types of clocks mainly. There's the kind where you see um, a number and it just tells you. That is a digital clock. Okay, so it's digital numbers. Okay. The other clock where you have to actually look at it and count, this is called an analog clock. I want you to know how to read both types of clocks because you'll see both of them on your assessments. All right. I have a couple small terms that you may already know. You might want to note these down or you might not need them. All right, I call these ticks, as in a big tick and a little tick. And a big tick, if you look on this clock, you can see there are 12 big ticks because there are 12 hours. Um, so each big tick is an hour. Or in this case, from tick to tick is five minutes each. And the little ticks are individual minutes. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So each little tick is a minute. Hand wise, the long hand or the big hand, that tells you how many minutes. And the short hand tells you what hour you're on. So I've got three times right here. I'd like you to try and guess what those times are. All right, I have some little codes for you so you know whether it's evening or morning. This is morning, afternoon, and evening or nighttime. All right, the first one we've got, the hour hand is between 2 and 3. The hour hand is between the hours. It's not yet reached that next one, so it's still the previous hour. So in this case, since it hasn't reached 3, it's 2 o'clock, and it's 2, and it is half past, and so half of 60 minutes is 30, if you wanted to count 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So that's 2.30. And since it's morning, 2.30 a.m. Second one. All right, we're nearing 9, but not quite there yet. So 8. And we have 5, 10 minutes left until it's 9. So 60 minus 10 is 50. And... Hmm, interesting. This says p.m., but by 8.50 it would be nighttime, so that's a typo on my part. It would be better to make that morning and make that an a.m. time, and then make that one an afternoon time. That makes more sense. And our last example, um, it's nighttime, and both hands are on the 12, and so since that's an exact time we know, and it's at night, we know it's exactly midnight. 12. And I think, I think midnight is technically a.m. when it turns over to morning. All right, I have several terms for you. So these are all the terms, and these are some times that we're going to go over. You might want to pause the video and copy these down before I start talking about them. Okay, got a lot of terms here. Es la and son las. They both mean it is. So if it is two, I'd say son las dos. If it is seven, I'd say son las siete. If it is one, I'd say es la una. So es la, you only really use if it's one o'clock or exactly noon or exactly midnight. Son las, anything more than one hour. It is, son means they are, so the hours are plural, more than two. Cuarto, it looks like the word quarter sounds in English, and that's what it means. It's a quarter past or a quarter to. A quarter of an hour, remember, is 15 minutes out of 60. It's not out of 100. Media, then, you can probably guess this is a quarter. Media is a half, okay? So that's half past, 30 minutes. Mediodia means noon. And if you look at it, half, so halfway through or the middle of the day. Middle of the day, noon. 
Medianoche is in the middle of, not the day, but middle of the night. So not noon, but midnight. E just means and. Menos means minus. So E you would add, menos you're subtracting. De la mañana means in the morning. Mañana morning. De la tarde in the afternoon. De la noche at night or in the evening. And en punto means it's on the dot. So if it was three on the dot, I would say son las tres en punto. And that's it. All right, over here, I've given you four times that are a little simple. Maybe you want to kind of think and guess what they are before I give you the answers. All right, we're going to keep moving on. Son las tres. Tres in Spanish is three, and since I'm not giving you any other minutes, it's three o'clock. Easy as that. Three. And I'm not giving you a.m. or p.m., so it's just three. Es la mediodía. Now remember, mediodía means middle of the day. So it is exactly noon. And I believe that's when it turns to p.m. as well. Es la una y diez de la tarde. All right, so right now with es la una, see, something to note, it's not es uno, la hora is feminine, so uno changes to una. This is the only number that changes its spelling, by the way, in this case. Es la una, so one, y and diez, ten. One and ten, so one ten. De la tarde, that means it's in the afternoon. Last one, son las cinco en punto, so it is five then en punto, on point, on the dot. Again, I haven't given you a.m. or p.m., and so that's fine if you just write five. All right, there's two sets of ways to tell time. So we're going to start first with up to half past, so 30 minutes. We're on that side of the clock right now, up to and including 30 minutes. You can add the minutes to the hour, like we did in the previous examples. So here's your rule that I want you to obviously write down. You're going to start out with es las, son las. Then you tell me the hour or hours, so 1, 7, 12, whatever. E and how many minutes, minutos. And then if I give you this information, add de la mañana, tarde, noche, whatever it would be. And then you're done. So here are four examples that we're going to work through right now. Son las cinco, so we know it's going to be five, y and media. That's half past the hour, so that's 30 minutes. So five, 30. No other additional information. Done. Number two. Es la una y veintinueve de la tarde. Sounds a little longer. So starting with your es la una. Again, no, it's not uno, it's una, but it's still one. E and 2029. So 29. De la tarde. So in the afternoon. And then we've got two here starting in English, going to Spanish. All right, 115, and then this is the afternoon sign. So one, since it's not more than one hour, we're going to start with es la. Remember, uno in time only. Changes to una, feminine. So, and, because we have a little more time, it's a quarter past. So, una y cuarto, quarter. And then in the afternoon, de la, de la tarde. One more, 9.07, so nine. More than one hour, so we're going to say son las. Nine is nueve. So there's some minutes, so 9 and E, 7. See it there? So 907, and then that is evening or nighttime right there. So de la noche. All right, obviously by this point we've gone up to half an hour. Now we're going to go past it. 
So this is 31 to 59 minutes, the other half of the clock now. All right, things get a little different past half an hour. In Spanish, you're going to go to the next hour that it's going to be, and then basically tell us how many minutes are left until that hour is going to happen. So, for example, if it were um, 1.50, I would say it's going to be 2, so I'd say kind of it's like 2.50, so it's 10 minutes, so it's 10 minutes to 2 o'clock, or 2 that's your hour minus 10. So 6.40. I'll show you how this works. All right, 6 is more than 1, so we're not going to start with S la. We're going to start with son las. Now, normally you'd write son las 6. However, we're going to the next hour. So it's going to be 7 o'clock. Son las 7. So it's going to be 7. And we're minusing out the time because it's not yet 7. How many minutes to 7? 20 minutes. So, not 40. It's 20 minutes until 7. So, 20, 20. And then in the morning, oops, de la mañana. So, it's 20 minutes to 7 in the morning. All right, over here we've got an analog clock. This is the afternoon, so it's p.m. We're looking for de la tarde at the very end. And we're looking at what is almost 3 o'clock, not quite 3, you'll see it's right above. And we haven't quite reached it, it's only 1 minute to 3, so 2.59. Since it's more than 1, we're going to start with so and last. Going to be not 2, but 3, so 3. And then how many minutes until 3? 59, 1 minute, so... Menos uno de la tarde. So it's one minute to three in the afternoon. This, in this case, it doesn't change because it's not right next to a la, by the way, if you were curious about the gender. If this was super confusing to you, how, how the times past 30 minutes work, please do know that you can still go the same way as before. You can add minutes to the hour, just like we used to do. So in this case, son las seis y cuarenta, and here it would be son las dos y cincuenta y nueve. I think that one's more writing. I prefer the minusing, but you can choose which one you want. They're both correct. All right, here are your practice examples. Copy them down. Write, um, at least write the number and a PM or AM, and then write them in full Spanish sentences. Use your rule that I gave you in the second or third, and third slide. Here you go.